a function is like a machine. We put an input into the function, and then an output comes out of the function. For every input, there's one output. So if we put 5 into the machine, in this case we multiply by 2, and then plus 3, so we'd get 13 out of the machine. Here we're going to rewrite these machines in a different way, with using a different notation. So this says a function of x, or f of x, is equal to 2x plus 3. And that is the same as this function machine up here. So instead of writing it out like a function machine, we're writing f of x equals 2x plus 3. It means the same thing. So if we put something into the function, we're going to write that as f of 5 in this example. So this means we're putting 5 into the function. What comes out? So we're going to have 2 5s plus 3, which is 13. If we wrote f of 2, that means we're putting 2 into the function. So 2 2s plus 3 is 7. And we can put any number into this function. So 2 times negative 3 is negative 6, plus 3 is negative 3. Here is an example of some functions questions. So we've got f of x, we've got a function called f, which is 3x minus 1. And we've got g of x, we've got a different function called g, which is 2x plus 7. The first question says, find the value of f of 2. So put 2 into the f function. So 2 into the f function means 3 times 2 minus 1. So we're changing x into 2. 3 2 is a 6, minus 1 is 5. The second question, we're putting negative 4 into the g function. So we're replacing x with negative 4. So 2 times negative 4 plus 7. 2 negative 4 is a negative 8. Plus 7 is negative 1. And question 3, write an expression for f of x plus 1. So we're putting x plus 1 into the f function. So we're going to change x into x plus 1. So that's 3 times x plus 1 minus 1. So all we've done is we've changed x into x plus 1. For the first one, we changed x into 2 for the f function. For the second one, we changed x to negative 4. This time we're changing x to x plus 1. And we can simplify this. So expand the brackets. 3 times x is 3x. 3 ones are 3. So we've got 3x plus 3 minus 1, which is 3x plus 2. Okay, 3 for you to try, so give them a go. For the first one, we're changing x in the f function to negative 2. So 3 negative 2s minus 8, which is negative 6 minus 8, which is negative 14. For the second one, we're changing x to 6 in the g function. So 5 6s plus 4, which is 34. And write an expression for g of 2x. So we're changing x into 2x in the g function. So that is going to be 5 times 2x plus 4, which is 10x plus 4. Here are another set of examples. So this time we've got f of x, and f function is 2x plus 5. 
and g of x is x squared plus 2. Question 1. We are changing x to negative 1 in the f function. So it's 2 times negative 1 plus 5, which is negative 2 plus 5, which is 3. For the second one, we're changing x to negative 4 in the g function. So that would be negative 4 squared plus 2. 16 plus 2 is 18. And question 3, solve f of x equals g of x. So f of x is 2x plus 5. g of x is x squared plus 2. So we're going to get 2x plus 5 equals x squared plus 2. So let's solve. We've got a quadratic. We're going to make it equal to 0 to solve it. So we're going to take 2x away from both sides. So we've got 5 equals x squared minus 2x plus 2. And then take 5 away from both sides, which will make it equal to 0. So x squared minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. We can solve it by factorising. We're going to have an x in both brackets. What multiplies to make 3? It's only 1 times 3. It's a prime number and adds to make a negative 2, so plus 1 and minus 3. So what's x equal to? For the first bracket to be 0, x must be negative 1. And for the second bracket to be equal 0, x is 3. So x can be negative 1 or 3. So if we put negative 1 into our f and our g function, we get the same output. And if we put 3 into our f and our g function, we would get the same output. Okay, some questions for you to try, so give them a go. Question 1, find the value of f of negative 3. Change x to negative 3 in the f function. So 3 negative 3s plus 10. Negative 9 plus 10 is 1. Question 2. Changing x to negative 7 in the g function. So negative 7 plus 2 squared. Negative 5 squared is 25. And question 3. Solve f of x equals g of x. So f of x is 3x plus 10. So it's 3x plus 10 equals g of x, x plus 2 squared. So let's expand this side first. x plus 2 squared means x plus 2 times x plus 2. So we'll expand it. x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. 2 times x is 2x, and 2 times 2 is 4. So we've got 3x plus 10 equals x squared plus 2x plus 2x plus 4. 2x plus 2x is 4x. And we want to solve a quadratic. That means we're going to make it equal to 0. So we'll subtract 3x from both sides. which gives us x squared plus x plus 4, and then subtract 10 from both sides. So it's equal to 0 now, and we've got x squared plus x minus 6. What multiplies to make 6? A negative 6 and adds to make a 1. It's 3 and 2. So we're factorising double brackets. And that's plus 3 minus 2. They multiply to make negative 6 and add to make a 1. So what's x equal to? 
x is equal the first bracket for the first bracket to be zero x must be negative three and for the second bracket to be zero we've got positive two so x can be negative three or positive two so if these were the inputs if negative three was an input the output for both functions would be the same and if two was the input the output for both functions would be the same here are two questions to finish up, so pause the video and give them a go. For question one, we've got a function f of x equals 3x minus 1. Find the value of f of 5. So 5 is the input. What is the output? Or change x to 5. So if we put 5 into our f function, we've got 3 times 5 minus 1. 15 minus 1 is 14. And question 2, find an expression for f of 2x plus 3. So the input is 2x plus 3. We're changing x into 2x plus 3. So 3 times 2x plus 3 minus 1. So expand this bracket. 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 3s are 9. 6x plus 9 minus 1, which is the same as 6x plus 8. Question 2, we've got a g function, which is x squared minus 4. So question 1 says find the value of g of minus 5. So negative 5 is the input. What is the output? Or change x to negative 5. Negative 5 squared minus 4, 25 minus 4, 21. And question 2, find an expression for g of x plus 1. So the input is x plus 1. What is the output? Or change x into x plus 1. So that's x plus 1 squared minus 4. Squared means multiplied by itself. So we've got x plus 1 times x plus 1 minus 4. Expand the double brackets, so x times x, x squared. 1 times x is x, 1 times x is x, and 1 times 1 is 1. So just collect the like terms, so we've got x squared, we've got x plus x, which is 2x, and 1 minus 4, which is minus 3.